Productions. Good to be with everybody once again here today. We're taking a little break in our dirt series of videos to show you this uh, musket that we just got completed. Reason being, it's going to get shipped off to the customer soon, so I wanted to show it off. But it is a first pattern, brown best, English musket, pattern 1740. Same one we've showed before, with the exception, this one has been cut down or bobbed as they used to call it in historical uh, documents to a much shorter length. Overall this weapon is only about 52 inches long now. Now historically we know that this was done to this particular model. There's accounts of it being done by Ranger units which special emphasis on Rogers Rangers of doing this. And the reasons for it are uh, evident. Obviously it cuts down on the weight drastically. It cuts down about a pound and also the length, making this an easier to handle weapon. Um, I would venture to say this is one of the best weapons that was in use at the time period of the French and Indian War and onward because not only do you have the base of the brown best which is a good serviceable heavy-duty reliable musket but you also have a large caliber um, these particular guns were 75 to 80 caliber, sometimes even larger than that, so you have a lot of knockdown force. Being smooth bore, you can fire uh, solid shot, buckshot, or a combination of those, so it gives you a lot of versatility in the woods. It'll drop the largest of game with a heavy powder charge. And because of the lighter weight, the shorter length, the reliability, and the uh, knockdown power and versatility, I would rank this gun amongst one of the best in its day for uh, forest warfare. You know, when you're out in the woods ranging and whatnot, you've got that lighter weight that's saving you, which if you're hauling all your gear through the wilderness like this is very important, and you've got the shorter length going as well, which is handy, and then all the other reasons mentioned. So uh, in its time, a good, reliable, heavy-duty piece with uh, some modifications made, and today is the same. Um, before we end this video though, I thought it would be fun to film it firing some rounds out of this particular musket before we send it off to the customer. So we're going to head over to the firing range and uh, put a few live rounds through it. Alright, so we're back at the firing range. I've got a target set up down range. And we'll go ahead and uh, go through the loading motions here and see what we can do. Traditionally, these were loaded with a paper cartridge, and as most folks know that are associated with it, you would uh, prime the pan first. However, I'm not comfortable doing that when firing live rounds, so we'll save that step for last. But I did charge with some paper, powder in the paper. I'm shooting about 75 grains of 3F. I've got about a 73 caliber round ball. That gives uh, just a little friction going down, hardly any at all, which makes for a easy loading and reasonably good shooting when shooting these uh, large smooth boards. I use a little greased fiber wad on top of the ball. Put that down. And then Historically, there's documentation that a lot of times they would prime out of uh, powder horn. The powder was generally finer or better quality. Sometimes it was called pistol powder, so I follow that uh, practice, again, for safety reasons. Well, maybe. <laughs> Think my horn's out of powder. Okay, so, good thing we're not in battle. We'll improvise with a little bit out of a cartridge here. Alright, we 
give that a try. I am wearing my glasses for safety protection and earplugs too, as the noise report is rather great with these. All right, I got a target about 30 yards away, so I'm just going to fire this one offhand and uh, see what we can do. All right, knocked it right over, so it shoots straight. That's good. All right, shot number two. I think I got it right in the left hand side. So putting them on target, that's good. Alright everybody, well that's going to do it for our video today. Thank you so much again for tuning in with us. And again, I promise we're going to get back to that dirt build and show you how to do the carving here shortly. Just wanted to get this project out of the way. And if you're new to our channel, thank you for watching. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe. That way you can stay informed when the new videos come out. And also please feel free to check out our website at www.hoffmanreproductions.com to see all of our uh, 18th century reenacting and uh, period weapons items that we post for sale. So once again, thanks so much, and we'll see you again next time.